guys, it's Koi from Gentleman Within, the place to equip with style to crush it in life. And in this video, I got a fun one for you guys. It is a lookbook video, styling the denim jacket three different ways. It is a question that I get a lot, and so I figured why not put a little something together. And so in this video, it's gonna be the denim jacket, the mid-wash denim jacket, styled three different ways. It's super versatile. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about why I made the choices that I made and why it works. So this is actually an update to a blog post that I put out about a year ago about the denim jacket, except it was featuring inspiration from other guys rocking the denim jacket. And so now we've got me included in the post. And so I've created this, this mega post of how to rock a denim jacket this fall. And so I'm going to put the links in the description below for you guys. So definitely check that out for some more inspiration. All right, so without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Look number one, the dressed up date night. For the first look, I wanted to dress up the denim jacket ever so slightly. This is achieved by the addition of a dotted burgundy knit tie over a navy corduroy button down. So the style guys often say to wear darker colors down low and lighter colors up top. And while this is a good general rule of thumb, as it draws people's attention up towards your face, you can pull off the opposite if you have something to grab their attention up high, like a rich burgundy tie with a tie bar, for example. Again, I'm playing with the neutrals of navy, tan, and brown with a pop of burgundy from the knit tie. Down low, I've got on a pair of navy suede chukkas. I love that they can be worn slightly more dressy and slightly more casual, just the same. It's a highly versatile shoe that's worth investing in. For a little extra something something, throw in a dashing pocket square. In this case, I've got a silk paisley pocket square with colors that complement the rest of the look. In addition, this will make you stand out even more, but in a good way. Give it a shot. So why does it work? The tie with a denim jacket look has been one of my smart casual go-to's for a while now. The reason I love it so much is because you can wear it for a night out in the city with the boys or out to a date with that special lady. It's casual but refined. You won't be overdressed, but still be dressed a notch above everybody else. Look number two invested in layers. Sorry for the lame pun, but fall means layers, and you can really benefit from investing in a few staple layering pieces, such as a Henley or light padded vest. Look 2 is another casual look. It's hard not to be casual in a denim jacket. Up top, I've layered a light quilted burgundy vest over a windowpane patterned button down, and the denim jacket over top of the vest. For fall, I really like burgundy and olive, and so those are the two mainstays in many of my fall ensembles. For the pants, I went with slate gray chinos, which is appropriate for fall and will complement many other autumnal colors. The shoes I'm wearing are the ever stylish chukka boots and a navy suede, a must have for any stylish man this fall. So why does it work? Well, a denim jacket is inherently casual and lends itself to being layered over or under other stylish staples. With this look, the neutrals are livened up by the richness of the burgundy vest. Look number three, back to school denim on denim. For the third and final look, I went real casual. It's a look that I feel appeals to a younger crowd, and so I recommend it for college students. It's a denim on denim look that manages to stay far away from the Canadian tuxedo land. Let's start from the top down. Layered under the denim jacket is a flannel shirt with a plum check pattern, another color that's seasonal appropriate. Since this is a younger look, I hopped on the trendy neckerchief trend and wrapped an olive bandana around my neck. I thought it looks cool, is stylish, and if you pull it off correctly, you won't end up looking like a Boy Scout. For the pants, I went with a pair of slim, selvage, dark wash denim with a thin jean roll to show off the ubiquitous chain stitching detail. It is cuffing season after all. 
Down low, I wanted to give the look a bit of a rugged tune. I went with a pair of Piccolino's boots with the versatile brown color, which I really love because they've got a mock toe and give off those work boot vibes without the bulk of a work boot. The slim down silhouette makes it ruggedly refined, which is a style that I tend to lean towards in the fall. You'll see that I'm wearing quite a few bracelets. My thinking was that this is a really casual look, and I wanted to go all in with a wrist full of accessories, something I normally wouldn't do. Finally, if it's your aesthetic, throw on a dad hat, which is on trend and works well for this look if you ask me. So why does this all work? Well, if you're going to rock denim on denim, there's one rule to keep in mind. The washes should have enough contrast, making the fact that you're rocking denim on denim an afterthought. With this look, it's hard to tell that I'm even wearing denim jeans with a denim jacket. If you're too monochromatic here, you'll be giving off more of a broke back mountain vibe, which is to be avoided at all costs. Alright guys, so I hope you liked that video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. I've also got some really cool content for the fall coming out, so you definitely want to stay tuned for that. As always, I have links in the description below for all of the pieces that I was wearing in the video. So on to you guys, which of these three looks are your type of style of rocking a denim jacket or are there any of these looks that you're looking to experiment with? Let us know in the comments down below. Oh, and also let me know down below what you guys want to see next. I'm always open to suggestions. All right, that's all I got. Cheers to your style, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.